Hey everyone, we've got another taste test turntable for you on Tuesday, don't we? I've been really remiss in this department. Life's been kind of crazy. I have been drinking less somehow, if you can believe that. To be honest, no one believes that. But uh, yeah, I've, I've got a new experiment for you though. In fact, this will probably go down in the history of my channel as the longest experiment, taste test wise, that I'm ever gonna try. And some of you are thinking, boy, that's a real boring taste test. Everything looks kind of the same. And at least one of my favorite friends out there on YouTube land is thinking, boy, that's a good color of wine. Excellent choice, Deviant. So why are, why are all these bottles the same, right? That is the question you may be asking. Because we're not tasting six different kinds of wine. We're going to taste the same wine six ways. Specifically, the same wine stored in different ways. I don't know if any of you out there like to uh, keep a bottle of wine around unfinished, but if you do, you may have used one of these kind of pump, pump, pump vacuums before. I don't even know what this is. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. You stick a little one-way valve stopper in the top, chunk, 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 until it makes some clicking noises and you've kind of exhausted how much air you're gonna pull out of that bottle. And the idea is less air in the bottle while it's on the shelf, less oxidizing, less going off in flavor. Now, some people do that. A lot of people, frankly, just do the fridge thing where you say, ah, I don't have the rest of this bottle. I don't feel like finishing it tonight, which are you really out there, people who say that? You know you can just finish the wine. No one's, no one's watching you. But you just throw it in the fridge. You say, all right, I'll get it later. Some people use that system, but something I had never heard before. I don't know if you've seen this. No, this is not me breaking into, uh, you know, rec censored land. This is a product that I caught on cocktail chemistry. Uh, yeah, it is argon gas. It is food grade argon inert gas. The idea being heavier than air. You have a bottle, you haven't finished that bottle. You've got wine down to about here or wherever. You pour this in or inject this in for a couple of seconds and that will push out all of your conventional atmosphere, leaving only inert argon. Then you can store this reportedly for up to a week or two, maybe even longer. I don't know. Here's what we're going to try though. We're going to try wine six ways, which is with argon gas, stored at room temperature, with the vacuum effect, stored at room temperature, and then none of those things, a control bottle, stored at room temperature. And then we're gonna try argon gas, stored in the fridge, vacuumed, stored in the fridge, and then no other controlling issues other than just leaving it as is, capped, stored in the fridge. I don't know what's gonna work best. I do know that maybe every three or four days, we're gonna pull all the bottles out, Gonna take a drink of wine from each of them, blind it out, of course, on the taste test turntable, and I'll see if there's any discernible difference. I think the first few attempts at this are gonna be kind of boring, and then as the days turn into weeks, maybe it's gonna get interesting. So let's get started. I'm gonna crack these open, and I gotta get, I gotta get some amount of little air in there, so I'm gonna do a good glass or so out of each of them and uh, see how I am after that. Yeah, why not? All right, we've got our candidates. Let's uh, serve a little bit out of them and get things ready. All right, now you might not be able to see that from back there, but I tried to get all these to about the same height. We're getting about maximum surface area on that round top of the wine level that you would get for the rest of the bottle. So I guess I should comment on this, like right out of the bottle stock. Uh, it's perfectly nice. It's a bold Cabernet. It's a little bit spicier and earthier than I might often go for without a meal. If I was just drinking it to hang out and read something, or let's be honest, not read something, just play with the cats and scroll on my phone, uh, I would probably do something a little bit more fruit forward, but this is, it's really nice. Let's get these labeled. All right, we've got everybody labeled at this point. Now for testing purposes, we need a little bit of at least pretend scientific rigor in our stages of this experiment, right? I'm going to say the wine will remain open for a half hour at room temperature. That's kind of a 
short dinner, long snack, hey, I pulled a bottle of wine out, I had a glass or two, and then put away. If the wine was open longer than that, let's be honest, you'd be finishing the bottle. Mm, not bad. After that time, the wine will be all closed up again, either with a conventional cork, with a vacuum cork, or with the argon and a cork. If the wine is going in the fridge, it'll go in the fridge right away. But at the start of each experimental stage, we want the wines to all be room temperature. So any wine that is currently being stored in the fridge for this experiment will be brought out of the fridge, I'm going to say a minimum of an hour before any experiment takes place. Not uncapped, but brought out of the fridge and let to come up to temperature. I've got no idea how this is gonna work. I'm publishing this video right now just to get you excited about the idea. And you can tell me yourselves if you have any predictions, you know, let me know. If you think this entire idea is stupid, let me know that too. You can just say, what's wrong with everyone in the world? You should just finish wine. We'll see how this goes. It could be a whole waste of time and money, or we could learn something cool. And you could learn about preserving some of your bottles if for some reason you're the type of person who doesn't get through an entire bottle of wine in one sitting as well. Stay safe out there. Careful, this is experimental wine. That's marginally helpful. Yes, we can, we can try cat preservation later. Stick your tail in there. How's that going?